Hi guys, it is me back with another video on FMG question and today I am going to discuss the inferior extensor return column of the foot. So let us begin. So guys, what is this inferior extensor return column of foot? So it is basically the ligament a cruciate ligament a lower part of anterior annular ligament is a y-shaped band placed in front of the ankle joint okay so talking about the about the about the origin and the and the insertion of this uh, of this of this band so the stem and stem and the attachment the stem of the inferior extensor uh, originates on the upper surface of the calcaneus now, uh, now, um, you might not know what is calcaneus, so let me tell you the context. So, calcaneus is basically the heel bone, uh, in front of in front of the sulcus uh, calcaneus. Uh, now this sulcus, now this uh, sulcus calcaneus is a groove on the on the on the uh, on the calcaneus bone, and uh, it um, it acts as a door for some of the vessels arteries and nerves so yeah so this is where the, this is where the um retinaculum gets anchored to the foot okay now division into two bands now this uh now this inferior inferior uh, retinaculum divides into into two bands mm, as the inferior okay uh it it, it Swing into two separate bands, upper band and the lower band. The upper band passes upwards and medially crossing the ankle joint and attaches attaches to the tibial malleolus. Now, what is this tibial malleolus? So, the tibial malleolus is a is a bony prominence on the on the inner surface of inner side of the ankle, which is a part of tibia shin bone. Okay, TB is also called a shin bone. The attachment of the tibial malleolus helps stabilize the the tendons that run on on the on the top of the foot. Okay, now the lower band. So um, the lower band extends downwards and medially, blending with the palmar aponeurosis plantar. Sorry, plantar. So the plantar aponeurosis, also known as plantar fascia, is a thick band of of connective tissue on the sole of the foot. This blending of the lower band with plantar aponeurosis helps provide additional support and and stability and stability stability to the tendons on the on the bottom of the foot. Okay. Now a uh, structures passing beneath this structure, beneath this uh, inferior extensor retinaculum. So you might also re remember that the that in the hand we have the flexor retinaculum of the hand and the structures passing inside from inside are the flexor digitorum superficialis and the median nerve okay fine so same is same goes here but this is this is simple so we have the tbl is anterior tendon Extensor hallucis longus tendon, dorsal pedis vessels, the deep peroneal, the, the deep peroneal nerve, extensor digitorum longus tendons, and the peroneus tertius tendon. Not true about inferior extensor retinaculum is is it a y shaped? The superior slip attached. To lower end of fibula, inferior attached to deep fascia of sole, or lateral lateral slip attached to calcaneum. Now pause and try to answer this question. And uh, yeah, so I'll tell you the answer. The answer is a uh, mm, superior slip of the lower end of fibula. Okay, guys, thank you guys for watching and bye.